Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Ballast Point. This is High West Victory at Sea. So Victory at Sea is their Imperial Porter brew with vanilla and coffee. And then this one is uh, aged in High West bourbon and rye barrels coming in at 12%, so it's a big beer. I also really very much enjoyed the label. A little bit too much black on there, that doesn't really show too much, but I really like the beautiful gold that they use on this label, so really nice stuff. Um, as for the beer, the beer comes in a black color, uh, deep black color with a Light to medium brown head. Let's get the room on this one. Wow. It's big. It has a nutty espresso coffee kind of flavor to it. But then there is like this rich vanilla note. There's this coconut, dried coconut thing. A little bit of sweetness. Some of that ground coffee. The, smells awesome. Cheers. Some chocolate as well. Oh, wow. Up front, <laughs> it's very nice. It gets a beautiful melange of just like the complexity of flavors, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of like um, coffee bitterness that, that ends up growing a little bit on the palate. There's some chocolate. Um, like powdered, uh, powdered hot chocolate powder. Um, there's a little bit of oak in there, a little bit of bourbon, uh, whiskey driving in there. The beer ends up not being that, uh, being that fat and viscous. It actually, at 12%, doesn't drink that sweet, nor has that chewy mouthfeel, medium plus mouthfeel. Um, but then, as you wait and wait more, the roast sort of transitions on the palate, and then on the back end, you get a little bit of this kind of sweet vanilla flavor. Um, it almost has a little bit of confectionery kind of thing where it just reminds you of like maybe a scoop of um, vanilla bean ice cream or just something where it, it, the, the, the vanilla tends to dominate. And this, this is a beer that I feel like a little bit more oak character and something where a little bit more whiskey character can help out the beer. Whereas the vanilla on the back end ends up being a little bit too much. That ends up being the aftertaste. You get a little bit of coffee aftertaste, but really the vanilla is what sticks on the palate. And if they push that back a little bit, I think this could be something really special. Also, one of the big issues is that is that that riding residual sweetness to help you know cloy on the palate a little bit more to complement that vanilla flavor, where it's just left with vanilla flavor without something sticky and chewy on your palate. So it doesn't really work too well. You're just left with aftertaste of vanilla, which is not exactly the most pleasant. Whereas you'd rather have something that tastes like dessert, that has that fattiness to it. You know, you want something that has cream and vanilla and chocolate and just sort of like has that dessert quality to it. Instead, this one sort of lacks that because there is not that kind of residual sweetness. It might be the barrel tannins uh, sort of taking that away. And also the bitterness of the chocolate on coffee, or chocolate flavors and the coffee in here sort of uh, bittering the beer out, but still very nice. I think it's a great beer. Very nice. I mean, honestly, I think Victory at Sea is a great beer and there are, you know, you know, obviously always questions. Oh, what, what would you happen? What would happen if you barrel aged this beer? And I think they could might have done a better job. I'm not quite sure what they could do to change it, but I guess that's sort of what this tastes like. And uh, it's still very nice. Uh, as for rating, let's go with something like an Nice. Let's go with a 91 on this one. 91. This is High West Victory at Sea. Uh, really good stuff. I know despite the fact that I had you know all these complaints here and there, um, it still has very great flavors, great aromatics, and it's certainly a beer that you want to share with like one or two people. Um, great stuff. Very enjoyable. So if you're a Victory at Sea fan, definitely get your hands on some. Uh, just very enjoyable beer. Uh, until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.